Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm yours, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we are looking at a special release from Stone Brewing. This is their 16th anniversary IPA. Of course, they release this once every year. It's a different style of IPA, and this one's a big one. Considered a double IPA, close to a triple, coming in at 10%. Alcohol by volume. This one's brewed with rye. They're using um, lemon, lemon oil in there. They're using Amarillo hops. They're using Delta hops. They're using Calypso hops, which are really kind of cool tropical hops. So let me get into a glass so that you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on the Stone Ruination 16th anniversary double IPA. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Stone Anniversary 16th IPA, you know, classic West Coast double IPA look to it. Beautiful orange, you know, it's a sunset orange, a little bit of gold uh, color on the curves of the glass. Pretty hazy, there's some clarity to it though. Uh, nice carbonation coming off the bottom of the glass there, like a champagne almost. Nice fluffy, kind of off-white khaki head. There was three to four fingers of a billowing, kind of pillowy, fluffy head on there. Look at the lacing on the thing, just sticking around. Decent amount of alcohol legs in there, 10%. I would expect that though. Just a really, really classic looking West Coast double IPA. All right guys, so the aroma on the Stone 16th. Wow, you get a lot of that lemon right up front. There's a bit of almost like a mint character to it, um, almost like a spruce um, type of character in there. Definitely getting the Calypso hops, the tropical fruit juicy, kind of like a Kool-Aid type of smell. Big orange peel to this one, juicy orange juice. Nice sweetness from the malt, getting a little bit of a spiciness from that rye, definitely in there, breadiness. Touch of alcohol, just a really, really interesting smelling double IPA. All right guys, so the taste on the Stone's 16th anniversary, cheers. Right at the front of the tongue, you, you know, you get that immediate kind of West Coast double IPA bitterness. The interesting part of that is there's a mint character to it. Um, again, it tastes like a spruce type of flavor. Middle of the mouth, there's a nice kind of sweet breadiness. That rye really takes over the mouth feel, a slight spiciness. Getting a nice kind of tropical fruit juice flavor. It's gotta be from those Calypso hops. Again, more of a minty, kind of lemony um, type of flavor coming through in the middle of the mouth. Not as much so as the front of the mouth, but definitely there. Nice breadiness, nice kind of sugary sweetness to it. Super dry finish on this one. After taste, I'm getting more of that astringent kind of bittering hops, uh, more of the lemon, more of the kind of the uh, that tropical kind of fruit coming through, pineapple, papaya, a little bit of orange juice in there, blending really, really nicely um, overall. And at 10%, you don't taste that beer at all. Oh wow, it's just super easy to drink, super refreshing, and really unlike anything I've ever had from Stone. Really, really interesting stuff. All right guys, so the final verdict on the Stone 16th anniversary double IPA available right now, limited quantities, 10% alcohol by volume, get it if you can. Guys, I'm gonna give this one an A minus. For me, it's a very, very different take on a double IPA, and that goes a long way. That lemon character really, really shines. It almost brings forward like a mint character as well to kind of play off those tropical fruits um, and the Calypso hops and the orange from the Amarillo and the, the rye character, the rye spiciness, giving that nice mouthfeel really nice to it. Easy to drink at 10%. You know, it should be a sipping beer, but it's really not. Going down really easily. Um, I think at the end of the day, there are some kind of, you know, issues as far as does it all blend together uh, you know it, it's tough to say but it's very very fresh right now super hoppy super lemony super minty a lot of rye mouthfeel to this one so it's a very very aggressive beer and there's a lot of flavors kind of competing for one another um, but with that said I don't think it's like and unlike anything um, Stone has done before um, so they're definitely putting themselves out there with this one and I think you guys will like it so give it a shot let me know what you think and remember folks life is too short Drink amazing beers. Cheers.